to channel where as always the hair might be fake but the reviews aren't neither are my opinions today we have an exciting blaster for you guys we are checking out my worker swordfish um i'm gonna go over the, the internals and external mods show you the blaster firing and then give you my final thoughts and opinions on the project uh, before we get started i do want to mention this was built by my friend the econ owl um, well i do consider him a friend all my opinions in this video about this blaster and everything on it and in it are my own. I was not paid. I was not, nothing was done to change my opinions. Everything I say about this thing is gonna be honest. So starting up at the front, this is a worker thread arm suppressor. Beneath that I have the worker ghost flash hider. And I think it just looks really good with the kit and it looks really tactical. Um, moving back, as you guys can see, I have a Chris Vector kit installed on this thing, blue, uh, clear. Um, I think they painted it blue first and then they used like clear coat and then that's how you get uh, clear blue. Um, so yeah, um, up top you have full length pick rail for firearm style or airsoft style sights um, or iron sights like the worker ones. Uh, but beneath that you have a little bit more pick rail. On the side you have pick rail on the left and the right hand side so if you want to put like a flashlight down there or up here you could or red dot uh actually no you put a red dot up uh down here if you're in australia because that's proper orientation um <laughs> moving back to the magwell this has a very decent magwell uh i still have to work in a lot more than i have but Mag insertion is really well, and you have a plastic paddle right here to remove your magazines. Now, unlike without the kit, you can't actually take your hand and go like this to, to pull down your mag because you can't really grab onto anything. You can, if you're quick enough, you probably could do it, but uh, that's not that big of a deal. Um, back to the rev trigger and the uh, firing trigger. The rev trigger is running a 21 amp micro switch. Very quirky. Really nice. The firing trigger. This is the fastest and nicest trigger pull I've ever had in my life on a semi-automatic blaster. It is smooth, it is buttery, and my god is it so much fun to fire. It's just, it's so like that's That's a good trigger. I mean, it is ridiculously good. Moving moving uh, to the battery tray, thumb screw on here, and it is running a XT60 connector. This is the expanded battery door. I do have the uh, one that sits flush with the shell, but in here, the tray's been dremeled out because this was set for 14,500 batteries or the waist size batteries. And a lot of dremel work's been done as you can see, you can actually see through, and if I wanted to, I could stick my finger through. <laughs> stick it through. Um, the actual part, and I can I can screw around with my, my pusher mech right here. Um, more on that, in my opinion. But the Dremel work is very clean, very well done. Uh, you do have to be a little bit more clean with your Dremel work when you do a uh, when you Dremel out the tray on this blaster because it's painted clear so people are going to be able to see how sloppy it is and I mean obviously because it's painted clear you can see like the the markings from where the Dremel was done so but you can only do so much um, moving to the flywheel cage motors and the wheels this is running uh, cyclone wheels with a worker stock crush cage on fan revamp motors with a motor spamp board or motor spanning board on it and it, the solder work is very nicely done and it looks really really good um, if you guys can see the green stuff that is actually dark dust from uh, the uh, econ owl running over 700 darts 
before he shipped it. Um, and that allowed the flywheels to be seasoned. So speaking of flywheels, just speaking of shooting darts, let's just, let's go into firing demo and I'll show you this thing firing. Shooting the worker swordfish with dark zone show darts out there worker Pretty good, right? So, uh, chronograph and number wise, put that up on screen now. Um, I've been, I did a 100 shot average and got 136 feet per second, which is shooting double, over double what the uh, 70 FPS par is. Now, this is all variant and depending on what mods and internals you put into this blaster because you can run. A band blasters cage you can run brushless in here if you wanted to you can do dual stage for god's sake someone's done dual stage first stage brushless second stage brushed i mean you can really do anything you want with this blaster and that's kind of the point of this thing is to do what you want with it i mean for a while people were worried that stripes were going to be discontinued and worker kind of just came in with this thing like hey this is another option um, to my final thoughts and my final opinions on this, I love it. I can't get enough of this thing. For my magazines that have been lubricated properly, my mags cannot keep up with how fast I shoot this thing because of how fast the trigger returns. I mean, it resets itself so quickly. It's, it's ridiculous. I, I can't get enough of that because it's so much fun. Um, this, and I love this blaster for all it is. And it's just, it's such a simple thing. The only complaints I have, and the only two complaints, really only two complaints. First off, the battery tray. So this is a complaint for Worker and a complaint for Al. Um, worker, why 14500 battery size batteries like we don't use imrs anymore and even back when this thing came out people really weren't using imrs we were all switching to light bows i mean while i do appreciate the fact that it is compatible with imrs it could have been like a the art zone pro mic 3 could have been like that perfect example could have had the tray pull out and then reveal a XT60, XT30, whatever you want to put there. We would have just gotten a converter and that would allow us to kind of put in whatever battery setup we want, but it's not. So that's a gripe. My gripe for the Econel is um, this. I get concerned about my wires, which have gotten caught in this before, um, getting catched on my pusher mech. And that is terrifying to me because if it gets caught in the right way it's going to drag the wire and start yanking on it and if i don't notice that then it's going to break um now this is partially human error if i don't start in way then it will catch the wire if i put my light bulb in a certain way it'll be fine and i can just go on with my day and it won't catch the wire at all on the inside but i really wish it wasn't something i had to worry about because it's just another thing that I'm like fiddling there for like 15 minutes trying to get my alarm, my, my lipo alarm, my lipo in there, and I'm trying to fit in a certain way because if it's not fit, does if it don't put in this, you don't put it in a certain way. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> um, then it's gonna catch the wiring, and that's like I said, it's a little bit of a concern for me, but it's overall not a big deal. Um, 
I would have put like some kind of polycarb plate behind it so that way I wasn't worried about it and then I only had the wires coming out from like right here. This won't get caught because it's sticking out far enough and I just kind of flop it on top of my lipo when I'm done. Um, but overall that's really all there is to go over with this blaster. Really it. This blaster has been amazing to use. I've used it in multiple games now. And I love this thing to death. I want to thank you guys all for watching. And remember, as always, the hair might be fake, but the reviews aren't. And neither are my opinions. See you guys in the next one.